Hi guys, Braden here with Fisherman Source. Uh, just doing a blackfish filleting video today. A nice big tog caught by one of our one of our coworkers here. Um, using the wood hander uh, wood handle carbon steel Dexter uh, and the nine inch that I really like. Um, we're just going to get right into it. Um, I'm going to grab the fish firmly by the gills, and I actually I mean it's well dead. I put one of my fingers in the eye socket, and then I'm going to cut forward at an angle to get as much of that meat up behind the head as I can, and then. I make that little cut right there just to help kind of work around the ribs. And then I'm just going to come right up and start working right down the backbone of the fish. And I'm just following that backbone down, trying to stay right on top of it. And just slow, you know, just using that as a guide, going right down the back. And then you can leave the skin attached and flip it over. I actually prefer not to. I prefer to take the fillet off separately. Uh, as you can kind of tell, this fish was bled. Um, meat's very nice and clean in it. I'm not convinced that makes a huge difference in the taste, but as far as the presentation, I really like the way they, they come out once they've been bled. And the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna make that cut through the lower part of the rib cage just to help take that out of the way. Same thing, come right down to the backbone, get right on top of that spine, and just use that as a guide going right down it. Um, and you can hear, I am not using what's called the Canadian method. I am going right through the rib cage, and then I'm just gonna trim that out later. So we have right there, we have both of our fillets. Fish is cut. And then on a fish this big, I'll actually come in, I, I'll take the notch out, or at least start the notch before I skin it. Come right down on the side of the ribs. Open it up. Same thing, come right down. Take the rib notch off. And then start right at the tail of the fillet. And just work the knife right between the meat and the skin. Um, on a blackfish or a sea bass, I'll keep that, uh, that knife right against the meat. Uh, on a striped bass, I'll actually keep it up a little bit just to help remove a little bit of that bloodline, the red line. And then on a blackfish, I do like to come back in and make sure, number one, I'm high enough to remove all the rib bones. There was one right there. But the other thing is there can be a little bit of pin bone extending down in here. In fact, I can feel it right there. You can feel them on the skin side of the fillet with your finger if you check it. So I'm just gonna come in real, real tight, taking off as little meat as I can, but removing that pin bone right there. That fillet is done. I'll do the same thing with the other side. Actually, on this one, I'll do the notch second because you really can do them either way. Personal preference. Um, just go ahead, take the skin off out of here and then in this case I can flip the whole thing over come right in above that rib cage right in behind that last rib and then same thing I'm just coming right in behind it and taking that pin bone notch right out and I'm just using my finger to check there at the end and there you have it guys those are two beautiful clean blackfish fillets um, once again, that's the Dexter Russell 9-inch um, carbon steel. Any questions, drop a comment below. Thank you very much.